This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Once you convert an image through Live Trace, get it where you want, and then expand it, bring it into Adobe Illustrator, it becomes a vector object just like any other vector object. It's got anchor points, it's got strokes, it's got fills. So you can use the tools that we use to modify vector objects to modify this image. But there is one really big flaw in that theory. These images can contain tens of thousands of anchor points. My personal record, believe it or not, is 2.5 million anchor points. You can't work on a point-by-point -point basis with something that complex. You'd be crazy to even try. But with that said, there are some things we can do once we get it in to Illustrator to have some fun with it. The photograph right here, we're going to convert. Taken outside Colorado Springs in Colorado, outside the U.S. Air Force Academy. Got a really neat area, lots of really cool rock formations. You can see a climber actually right here. And there's one guy right up here almost at the summit of that rock. Let's live trace these guys. Only takes a second to go to a black and white sketch. Let's immediately go over here to the default button for presets and go down to grayscale again. It'll take an extra second to do it. Once it gets done, I'm going to make two more modifications to it before we expand it. I'm going to change the minimum area and the number of colors. Over here, minimum area, let's take minimum area to about a 70. There'll be less detail if we do that. And that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to 70. And you can see it'll take a second because it's rejiggering the image. And of course, less detail. Change the colors from 6 actually to 8. Now look at the difference this makes just with two new colors. It's actually pretty impressive. I like that. I'm ready to go into Illustrator and do some Illustrator stuff to it. Select it. Go into this button right here for Expand. It's now an Illustrator object. Let's ungroup it. This one doesn't have a white background like we had in our previous segment, so you'll probably only have to ungroup it one time. And you will know that, obviously, if you come back up here and it says grayed out on group. And it is, so we're fine. I want to get rid of the sky. So what I'm going to do is actually pick up my selection tool since it's ungrouped. I'm going to take a big old piece of it like that and just press the delete key. Now I'll just keep doing that. Now there are other ways we can accomplish this if the color sets are right. But right now I just want to get rid of these quick. So I'm going to do it this way. If this image were more complicated, this would be very tedious. It'd be very difficult for you to do it. So we got rid of the sky. Why? Well, maybe I got another sky I want to put in there in another layer that you haven't seen yet. I click here and I can bring another sky in. So we have a surrealistic kind of look going here. We have a real photograph in the background. And we actually have our posterized vector on top, but we're not done. Let's do one more thing. Let's make sure that the sky's locked out. I want you to come back to the rocks and press Control A, select all. So we've got the whole thing selected. Maybe I want to recolorize this thing. Don't forget you have a button that will do exactly that even on something this complicated. This button right there, recolor artwork, select it. Come over here. Here's the colors it's using right now. Click that button. How about these? Interesting. You don't like certain colors? You can pick up the magnifying glass right here and actually click on the one that you want to change. Double click over here if you want to change it. Change it into a different color. It's a lot of fun to work with this, but don't forget recolor artwork because these things are very complicated. You're not going to be jumping into these things and actually clicking one little group at a time and changing it. That would be too complicated. Recolor artwork will do it for you with the click of a button. So, looks kind of strange, but you get the idea. Have some fun.